Welcome to St. John's and welcome to my bar, Trapper John's. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be, it's going to be my honor and my privilege to make all 31 of you honorary Newfoundlanders. 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 Look, guess what? You're all going to earn your brand new Newfoundland passports. Yeah. yeah. There are four things you all must do, okay? Okay. Now, don't worry, it's very easy. Like, like no one from Toronto has ever failed. I know. I know. So it's pretty easy, okay? <laughs> what about first, North Carolina? First, you all got to eat a little something from Newfoundland. Something very special. Oh, then, of course, you all must drink some Newfoundland screech rum. Hence the screech in. Then you will all repeat after me a very famous Newfoundland saying. And then lastly, girls. I'm only talking to the girls right now. <laughs> Last year, girls, you all got to kiss something from Newfoundland. Mm. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, I am from Newfoundland. <laughs> 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 I'd love to kiss you. The I have all the girls in front. I'll take care of all you first. I know. I'm sure I can find something for them. Okay, oh, fellas, to kiss behind you all. Okay. <laughs> now, I got a big huge group. So I'm just going to ask you, who here? Put your hands up, our American. Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he was. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, okay, sir. come yes, down. Sir. And how many are Canadian? Yay. Yay. Oh, so it was pretty even. About <laughs> four, 16 inches against 25 Americans. Oh, that's not even. That's not even, actually, all right? Yeah. Well, see, I asked who was here from America, because it all depends on my ceremony, the things I say, and tell you about Newfoundland. It all depends if you're all Canadians or Americans, a mixture of where you're from. So I got a bunch of Americans here, so I'll tell you some important things about Newfoundland and our connection to America, okay? Now, first of all, I told you all you had to eat a little something from Newfoundland. I got something very special. Now, just take, I got a whole bunch. Take one each, and don't eat it yet. <laughs> Don't eat it. Yet. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Fudge. Do you think we can afford to buy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we can give away free fudge down <laughs> here? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you in a minute. It's not fudge. Where are you from? We have Alberta. It's not running. Nailed it! I grew up on bologna sandwiches. Now, come on, guys, you have your pass behind, too, okay? Take a call for the boys behind you, too. Now, you pass around. Now, listen up. Now, he's passing around something for you all, okay? Just take one each as you get them. Now, what you're all going to have in your hands, actually, is a little bit of steak. Now, oh, it's, it's spam. Oh my God, no, it's not. I wouldn't serve you spam, Jesus Christ, no. It's called steak. Now, it's not prime rib steak, it's not T-bone steak, nothing like that. We call that Newfoundland steak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you when you get when you get to eat it. Does everyone have one? Yeah. Everyone got one? Yeah. Okay. Now all together, each a little bit of newbie steak. This is gonna be worse than the street. Oh yeah. No, it's really good actually. Come on, go ahead, eat it up. Eat it up. That's good, Mike. Now we call that Newfoundland steak. Now, hey, hey, Blondie. Hey, Blondie. Blondie. Uh, talking again. to you. What's your name again? Diane. Diane, guess what? Well, you can call me Mary. Okay, we'll call her <laughs> Jesus, Mary, Joseph. I don't know. Okay, guess what? A little bit of Newfoundland steak. It is actually bologna. It's not spam. <laughs> Bologna. Now, how's that bologna taste, actually? Do you know why? Yeah. Do you know why our bologna tastes so good? Why? Because it's not that shitty old Canadian stuff. 
It's a little bit of Newfoundland baloney. Ah. That's why it tastes so good. Now, all of my friends over here, you're here on the, at the Mini Cooper or whatever. Yeah. Right. 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 Thank you know something? True fact. We call bologna the steak of Newfoundland because bologna is the most popular meat in Newfoundland. Now it goes way back to the days of the Great Depression. Back to 1929. At that time, Newfoundland was the poorest place in North America. And we were still our own separate country back in those days, okay? And bologna was the main source of meat that people living here could afford to buy every day to feed their families. By the time that Great Depression was over, they started calling bologna Newfie Steak. Yeah. And here we are, 90 years later, it still is the most popular meat in Newfoundland. Yeah. On the island of Newfoundland, we've only got 500,000 people. And you travel our island, Newfoundland. Hey, Blandine. <laughs> <laughs> you travel our island. Guess who's a trouble do you maker? Know, <laughs> do you know that Newfoundland is the ninth largest island in the world, actually? Yeah, really. And last year on the island, we consumed seven million pounds of bologna. <laughs> <laughs> that is an actual true fact. You really are. We are the highest consumers of bologna on the planet. Nice. So while you're here visiting, right? You heard someone say, no, cheese, who have you? You're full of, you're full of bologna. It's, That's what she just said. Yeah, see, it's not a joke in Newfoundland. We means it down here in Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah. You don't because heard it, though. Down here in Newfoundland, we don't eat that old Jesus Canadian bacon stuff for our breakfast. We live large on this island. We have steak and eggs every day. Every single day we have steak and eggs. But it's called Newfie steak. We have fried bologna for our breakfast. Fried bologna eggs, a side of baked beans, and a couple of what we call towns. Towns is fried dough, actually. It's really, really, yeah. Towns are so good, let me tell you. Okay, now, friends, I got a whole bunch of you. You all got to drink something Newfoundland Screech Rum. Now, I'm going to ask the girls in front to help me out. You start passing Screech to the boys behind you, and then this row will start putting the girls in front, okay? Now, don't drink your Screech yet until you all get your Screech, because I'm going to have to ask you all oh, a very important question I'm for you, okay? I'm smell like a brewery. Here you go. Now you start both, you can start fast now. Everybody got one? Yep. Got yours? Got yours? Everybody good? Got everybody behind you. Okay. All the boys back here got it? Y'all yep. need more yep. boys? Okay, I'm going to pass it down. Pass it down. Pass it down. Um, anything left over, yeah. Diane drinks. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of blondes here. Yeah. You got blondes, you got one back there? You got one? I was calling it. This is just short. Not Everybody? S-T-I-N-I-A, not safe. No, it's called, we called the blow me. Oh, you got to pass no, them down, hey, girls. Yeah, hey, Blondie. Oh, right, okay. Hey, Blondie, keep passing. Wait, no. Send them down. Send them down. Now, does, does everyone have their shot of Newfoundland rum? Wait. There's one left. You got your screech? One left. Anybody? That's for you. Somebody's doing two. <laughs> Everyone got one? Bartender. No, I'm good. Everyone got their streets, right? No, now, before you all really drink your streets, I gotta ask you all a question, okay? Yep. Now the girls. Do we have to be honest? Oh yeah. Well no, see, the answer only got two words. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you're all gonna respond to me with a big enthusiastic. Yes, bye. bye. Yes, yes, bye. Bye. yes, bye. I haven't asked you a question yet. 
<laughs> My God, who's riding the car with her, eh? Hey. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, I'm going to ask you all, are you screechers? Yes! yes. Hey. Jeez, that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we say, I uh, space in those two words, because those two words are the most used words in Newfoundland. We say it all day long down here in Newfoundland. It's the answer to every single thing. <laughs> it, it is in Newfoundland, right? Like, if someone asked you, Mary, want to go downtown get a, a, a bottle of beer or something? That's fine. Yes, right, then he says, yes, boy. Or let's go get screeched in. Yes, boy. Oh, I'm gonna ask you, my darling. Let's let's go to Chess's. Get a big feed of Newfoundland fish and chips. Yes, yes bye. Bye. No, bye. <laughs> oh my God, Mary. See, when we say fish and chips in Newfoundland, Demi says, "Oh Jesus, yes, bye." <laughs> <laughs> right? We're we're a bit more enthusiastic, right? <laughs> and we, I'll tell you the truth. But listen up. I told you. We use those little words really for every single thing. Now you go to work one morning, another example. You go to work one morning, here's your best buddy in the whole world, your best friend, okay? And you see this morning that there's something around him, and he says, my Jesus, what's around you about? And he turns to him and says, oh my God, Mary, my dog just died. Yes, Bob. Yeah, Demi says, oh yes, Bob. <laughs> we use those like, words from extreme yeah, enthusiasm it. right down to the purest, deepest sympathy okay. and every single point in between. <laughs> so if someone asks you a question in Newfoundland, you're not really sure what to say, just say, oh, yes, yes bye. bye. And yes, you'd bye. actually be pretty fine, wouldn't you? You're not yeah. Yes, bye. Now, my friends, I'm going to ask you a question again. Now, are you all ready? To drink your rum. Yes, yes. yes. Bye. Bye. Body Christ to catch an eye. Yeah, catch an eye. Now, on, on the count of three, all together, pick up your rum and down the hatch. Now, girls, girls, listen up. Okay. I'll give you a little hint, okay? When I say it's down the hatch, I means like, like, don't taste this. <laughs> you, know, right? you know, you know, we yes. have, we have so many, we got so many Newfoundland sayings. There's actually a full Newfoundland book. You've seen our stores. We bought a uh, yeah, bunch of them today. Of all different Newfoundland sayings and what they actually means down here in Newfoundland. But Mary, one of my favorite, favorite sayings in Newfoundland. Guess what we says? We says just throw it in ya. Throw it in ya. Now we, we don't say throw. We says throw. Throw. Just throw it in ya. So when I says one, two, three, pick up that rope and just throw it in ya. Are you ready? Yes, bye. One, two, three. Come on. You didn't say throw it in ya. Throw it in ya. Seem pretty good. It actually tastes pretty good, doesn't it? It's not bad. Mm. 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 That tastes good. Mm. You know, our new flans fish does taste pretty rum? good because our rum and this rum has been the national rum of Newfoundland for over 400 years now. This Ooh. rum, you know, true fat. It's a baloney of rum. Yeah. <laughs> now our rum does taste pretty nice because it's made out of sugar cane. That's a nice sweet aftertaste to it, actually. Mm -hmm. Which means, my friends, guess what? Our Newfoundland screech is not from Newfoundland. <laughs> 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 yeah! Woo! Our 
wouldn't ask the wrong. I wouldn't ask the wrong. Happens to come from the country of Jamaica. Because about 400 years ago here in Newfoundland, we had a whole lot of catfish. Now we salted our cod, okay? Matter of fact, we salt everything down here in Newfoundland. We salt our beef. We salt. We put salt on salt down here in Newfoundland. And we start trading with Jamaica. We gave Jamaica for centuries our Newfoundland salt codfish, and they fill those fish barrels with Jamaica black rum. And you know. This black rum will come back to Newfoundland. And not until 1949, this rum actually had no official name. It had no labels either. For centuries, the rum came back from Jamaica in both barrels. They pour straight and clear bottles. That's why people come down and think, oh, that rum's really strong. It used to be years ago. But now, it arrives here still. It's now bottled here, labeled here, quality controlled here and goes down the words to do for that sweet rum. Now, anybody ever been to Jamaica? Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Do you know, do you know the country of Jamaica? Jamaica has an official food, a national food dish of Jamaica. No. Bologna. Bologna. No. It's, it, no, it's not jerk chicken. It is. Aki. 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 Aki and salt codfish from Newfoundland. Yeah. 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 That's, That's fine. So That's been the national food of Jamaica national for centuries. Mm. And they're black and they're national, 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 national food. Yeah. 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 Now, all my American friends, let's not very carefully. Do you know our Newfoundland fish is so popular that our rum has a new blue label went down about six months ago. Our Newfoundland Screech is actually the official rum on Broadway in New York City. Oh. Yes, it is. Now, our rum became the national rum of Broadway. Do you know why? Because there's a big, huge, massive Broadway show playing in New York. The show is called Come From Away. And the show is all about Newfoundland and 9 11. Right. On that day, when those towers fell in New York City, airspace got closed in all of North America. And the President Bush and our Prime Minister told all the planes in the air if you fly into our airspace, you'll be shot from the sky. But Newfoundland said, sure, we can take them all over here. Because way back during World War II, Newfoundland, we housed 100,000 American soldiers. They came here before war declared in World War II. They built all of our airports in Newfoundland. At the time, Gander had the longest runways in the world, actually. We had five American bases here. And all the people here in Newfoundland put a nickname on all those Americans who are not from here. We called them all CFAs. You're all CFAs. You're all away. come, come from, from away. away. And that's why the show is called Come From Away. Because on 9-11, on that day, one of our little towns of Gander, a population of 6,000 people, took in 7,000 passengers. Now St. John's, we're much bigger than Gander. We took in 15,000 passengers in St. John's on that day. And of course, we don't have hotel rooms, put them all in. But we got lots of bedrooms in our homes. And for eight days, airspace remained closed in North America. And when the plane, airspace reopened, people could start going back on the planes and go to wherever they were originally going to. And that show is setting box office records around the world. It's playing in New York City, Toronto, Canada, Sydney, Australia, London, England, and it's a worldwide tour of Come From Way. And Hollywood has now signed a deal with the producers. Ooh. They're going to make a big Come From Away movie. Ooh. All about 9-11 in Newfoundland. And what happened here in Newfoundland. Mm. Now, my friends, here's the easy part of my ceremony, Mary. 
Mary, 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 Mary. Okay. You all, you've all got to repeat after me. Very famous Newfoundland saying. Now it's got 14 words. Oh my God. Oh. No, but the longest word got four letters, like your name, Mary. Yeah. That's why I'm picking on you, all right? Now here we go. I'm gonna say once. Listen up. Quiet. Miss Alberta. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Indeed, I is my old cock. What? And all me, you big jib draw. What? what? Something cock 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 Old cock. An old, old cock. Not what you're all thinking about. Fish. 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 No, it's not. Okay, this one. I'm going to say three words at a time. Can we do that? Yes. 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 That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Indeed I is. Indeed I is. Me old cock. Me, me old cock. And long me. And long me. You're a big jib draw. You're a big jib draw. But in Jesus, that was good. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Alberta friend, she says she was just in dildo, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 What's an old cock in Newfoundland? What's an old cock yeah. in Newfoundland? I do it. I've heard this. A dildo. A dildo. A dildo. No, an my old, God! See this stuff. Uh, actually, what, what's your name? Gary. Who? Gary. Gary? And who are you here with? Janet. Oh, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Is would you consider Gary to be your friend? Yes. So Gary's your old cock. Ah. Ah. In more ways than one. Uh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Not that old. Uh, Gary, hold on, Gary. <laughs> Gary. Don't get too excited. I didn't say you were her big cop. <laughs> I said you're her old cop, okay? Because, because an old cock in Newfoundland is your friend. Yeah. It's an old friend. Oh, the, oh, I said, geez, what are you at? The old cock? We said it all the time here in Newfoundland. And, and of course, the jib is the power boat. The hole's up the side. Part of a boat. Yeah. Yeah. So we're saying, my friends, wherever you all may go, may you always have wind at your sails. Yes. 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 Indeed, I is me old cock, me old friend, and long may your big jib draw, draw. your sail draw on your boat. Yeah. Now, so since you were in dildo, right? <laughs> we were yes, all the whole group dildo. was there. Most of the group. Do you, know, group. do you know, people come down and say, oh my God, I'm sorry, I gotta tell you the true fact, okay? That dildo became very famous fact. in the mid 70s in Newfoundland. But now, the town of dildo, do you know why it's called dildo? Someone told no, me it's, got, it's a dinghy. something on a fishing boat. No, no. Yeah. it goes way back when Newfoundland was settled by England, okay? A, a British captain. He was a son. <laughs> So listen up. So when Newfoundland was settled, so when Newfoundland was settled, the very first governor, the very first governor of Newfoundland, he was here for about 40 years. Okay, his house is a national historic site. Is out at Cupid's, about an hour and a half from here. His name was Lord Baltimore. And Lord Baltimore got re-signed by King Henry VIII. He was told, now you must leave Newfoundland and go down to the New World. He took his crew with him. He went down to the New World. And he landed at a place and he called it Baltimore. Mm -hmm. That's where the name Baltimore comes from. In Maryland. But now, Lord Baltimore, he had people appointed across Newfoundland. And a British captain, his last name was Dildo. Yeah. He was assigned in that place of Newfoundland. 
and they named the town Dildo after his last name. But now Dildo became very famous in the mid 70s because a very, very famous Newfoundland girl, she became the very first Playboy centerfold. <laughs> she was actually the Play Bunny of the Year. Yeah. Her name is Shannon Tweed. Oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> and Shannon Tweed married Jean Simmons yes. from Kiss. Yes. Yeah. They had their own reality show and everything else. Yeah. And Shannon Tweed is from else. Dildo, Newfoundland. No. Oh. No. Oh. 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 That's why oh. Dildo became oh. so famous in the mid 70s, actually. Yeah. Now, the last part, girls, we're talking about dildos and everything else, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, you all got to kiss something from Newfoundland and you uh. get ready. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am from Newfoundland. I told you, right? <laughs> no, unfortunately, girls, as much as I wish to, you've all got to kiss something for Newfoundland, not one of us. <laughs> and I told you in Newfoundland for centuries, we catch fish. We catch codfish. Do you know, my American friends, do you know that cod? is the king of Newfoundland. Now down in America, we all watch your TV. It's even printed on your dollar bills. You all stand in America. They put their hands over their hearts and they all pledge. In God we trust. In cod. Exactly, we pledge in cod we trust. In Newfoundland. Because cod is our king. And now you all must kiss the king of Newfoundland and Mary. When you get one look at my king, you're gonna so wish you kissed me. Now, my king has a name. He's named. He's named. He's named is I wanna know how old he is. He's called. He's called Tommy. Quiet. He's called Tommy. Tommy. Because Tommy is a small codfish. Tommy, he is oh. small. And we call a small cod, it's called Tommy Cod. Tommy Cod. That's why it's called Tommy. Oh my God. Now, Miss Alberta over there, right? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, where part of Alberta from? Uh, Cochrane. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> Wait, make the one she loved Dildo. She's got Catherine on her. Well, I guarantee you. You see her down there? She's kissed worse than Tammy Nova. Oh, yes, she has. I know you have. And now, girls, listen up. Now, Tammy's a shy fish. There's no tongue. He's blind. There's no tongue. I was going to French kiss him. I'm French. Oh my God, there's no French kiss, no. Now, a little kiss for Tommy. Now, I will tell you all, I'm going to start down here, and oh, no. when the girls, no, when the girls kiss Tommy, move back a bit, and all the boys come from, okay? All right. Now, down here, my darling. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm saving Mary for last. <laughs> Lovely. 
Hold on, Pete, wait, wait. How's this look? Okay, come on. Quiet, please, quiet. Now, everyone, you're not done yet. Come back, come on. You're not done. Now, I decided to keep Mary for last. Because you, where are you from? Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> now, Mary, you've been a great sport, so I'm giving Mary the very special honor. I gotta keep him? Oh no, you gotta kiss his ass. <laughs> Would all of you, all of you, put your hands by your sides, please. Put your hands by your sides. Okay. Now there's too many here, but with my sword, I'm now going to nate all of you honorary Newfoundlanders. I welcome you all to Town Law and Order Now, friends, I have all of your official certificates. Now the big group together, I've got them all together in one group, I'll pass them to one person, you can all, instead of trying individually. Yeah. Other people, yeah. I got, I'll get your names and, and pass them out to you. Now, all my American friends, put your hands up. There's a whole bunch of you, okay? How many hands? Now see, here's the thing though. All my Canadian <laughs> friends, I'm gonna give you all your certificates. You're all fine. But all my American friends, you've got one problem. <laughs> It's a big Jesus problem, actually. <laughs> See, if Donald Trump sees those things, <laughs> he might think you're all new immigrants. <laughs> and, and not let you back in America. So be very careful who you show those certificates to, okay? Now, my friends, enjoy the rest of your stay here in Newfoundland. It's a fantastic province.